going to talk with Gene Garand. Gene is the president of Triple Creek, and basically this is the guy that made this wonderful event happen. Gene, talk to us a little bit about this Watt Fest, and tell us a little bit about how things have been going for us out here. Okay, this has been a, a, a very great event. Uh, thanks to uh, all the people that got it together. I'd like to thank all of our wonderful volunteers from Triple Creek. Uh, this has been a fantastic event. And uh, I thank everybody for coming out here. I'd like to thank the uh, sponsors, uh, Hobby Town USA, uh, and uh, I think two or three of the other sponsors that uh, donated uh, many, many items. And I want to thank everybody again for uh, their participation. Tell us a little bit about the spectators. I know there's been a lot of spectators, and there was a candy drop with kids the other day. How, how did that go? Yeah, the candy drop was fantastic. Uh, I don't know how many uh, candies they dropped, but there wasn't one left when the kids got a hold of them. Spectators have been wonderful. I mean, I think we had a triple row of uh, spectator cars. Uh, they they uh, really helped us out. and. Uh, and they're purchasing of food and raffle tickets. Uh, they were great. Uh, I think we had great exposure from the uh, paper articles. And I think uh, uh, Danny Cole and, uh, and Brian did a wonderful job going out and uh, pounding the bushes here, uh, getting this event uh, publicized and uh, donations that they received from other hobby shops. Gene, thank you so much for your time. And again, we do appreciate you doing this and giving us your time. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about this event. This is the Watt Fest uh, 2012, an all-electric event. How's the turnout been? Oh, it's been pretty good. This is our first annual event. We're looking for uh, into the future for doing it again. We've had about 30 pilots here, maybe about 70 spectators. We may have had as many as 100 folks here at, 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 at the most. And uh, it's a pretty nice event. Nice and quiet. Doesn't bother the neighbors. So this is an all-electric event. There's no gas out here? There's no gas out here. That, that's that's why it's so quiet. How's the, the concession sales and so forth going? Uh, the concession sales and so forth are ro very robust. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. We're going to go see if we can interview a few others. This is Greg Carpey. He's a member of Triple Creek. He's out here doing our photography. How's it been going with the pictures, Greg? I've been going really good. Uh, a lot of good opportunities for photos. A lot of different kinds of airplanes. A lot of interesting people out here. Getting a lot of good pictures. Has there been any carnage? Not a whole lot, surprisingly. Even with the wind yesterday, uh, we only had, what, three incidents, I think, and most of them were pretty minor, so it actually has been a good So you've got some good shots, then? Yeah, I've got a couple of good ones, but nothing really spectacular as far as crash damage, but other than that, a lot of good flight pictures. And you've already got those up on the web so people can go visit them. Where would they see those pictures at? Uh, that would be www.tcrcphotos. TCRCphotos.com. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Greg. We appreciate your time. We're here with Tom Ramondi. He's with Hobby Town USA, and they've graciously helped sponsor this event with some wonderful prizes. Tom, tell us a little bit about Hobby Town and what you guys do for the, uh, this community. Uh, Hobby Town, we pretty much do a little bit of everything. We do everything from RC anything to models, trains, planes, science, uh, crafts, anything to keep people busy. Yeah, it looks like you guys have really helped promote this event. I noticed you guys brought some premier prizes to go out and give them. Looks like they've been well received. That young man just got a great prize from you guys. What was that, a pilot's prize? That was a pilot. No, that was a raffle prize. Raffle prize. Raffle. How long have you guys been in uh, business, Hobby Town? Uh, about 11, almost 12 years. And where's your locations? Uh, we have one in Brandon and one in Tampa, Florida. Excellent. Very good. And what are you flying today? Tell us a little bit about this airplane. Uh, I'm flying the Hangar 9 um, Katana, 50 size, converted electric on uh, 5 cell. 5 cell. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Tom, I know you're busy and I know you want to fly. We thank you very much for your time. You got it. Thanks, bud. We're here with Allison Raimondi from Hobby Town USA. Allison, tell us a little bit about Hobby Town. Uh, well, we do everything from indoor, outdoor, trains, planes, everything. There's How's this event been? You guys seen a lot of people in and out of the sh uh, doors today? Yes, we have. It's really nice. It's really nice to see that everybody's participating, doing everything, you know, the way they're supposed to do. It's run very smoothly. It was very well put together. Now, you you fly? No. 
Oh, you don't. Maybe you should. <laughs> you don't want to see me die. <laughs> It'd be bad. Well, Allison, we really appreciate your time. Is there anything you'd like to tell us before we leave? No, we're just I'm glad everybody came out, and I hope to see everybody at the Brandon and Tampa store. Come support us. We'll send them your way. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. He's one of the pilots out here at the Wattfest 2012, and I've been watching this man fly all day. He is an incredible pilot. Lewis, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been in radio control uh, probably for about 15 years. Uh, my interests are uh, 3D uh, airplanes and helicopters. Uh, this particular model that I'm flying right here is uh, Extreme Flight 60-inch Extra. Uh, it's got the uh, Torque uh, 5000 motor, and I'm flying it on 6 cells 3300. Uh, great airplane, very steady, uh, great for all kinds of flying, precision and 3D. So, really having a good time with it. How's this Triple Creek facility for flying at? This is a wonderful place. I mean, it's a premier place. It's so clean. Uh, I really enjoy the hospitality. Uh, great event. Uh, fairly, very nice turnout. Uh, the wind has been rough here the last couple of days, but uh, overall, a very nice event. How long does this thing stay in the air when you put it up there and ring it out like you do? Uh, normal flight time is probably around seven and a half to about a nine minute flight time. You know, if I cruise a little bit, I might be able to squeeze ten minutes, a little bit of ten minutes out of it. But on the most part of it, really ringing it out about seven, seven and a half minutes. Well, that's beautiful. We won't take up any more of your time, Lewis, because we want to see you fly. We enjoy it so much. You are such a great pilot. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. How are you doing there, young man? I see you're one of the participants. Why don't you tell us your name and a little bit about what you fly? Jordan Bavaro. Jordan Bavaro. Jordan, what are you flying out here, Jordan? A A-10. Now, I understand you flew that for the first time last night. You made it. How'd that go for you? Good. Good. Hey, tell me a little bit about that A-10. It's, it's slow reactions, but then when you get used to it, it's not that slow. But when you take off, you have to be um, a little bit um, slow with the reactions of it. How long have you been flying, Jordan? Tell me how old you are and how long you've been flying. I'm 11, and I started flying when I was 9. So you've been flying for a couple of years. Well, you do a lot better than some of the uh, um, other older folks that fly out here. I noticed uh, the other day you had a malfunction. The ailerons were backwards, and you recovered very well from that. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, my grandfather, um, he, I think he was testing me because he usually t asks me if, um, if the um, ailerons are um, right, and I'm usually not... I'm not really usually not that good with telling them, but I just um, usually go along with them. And I think he was testing me yesterday, and he um, launched it off, and it was it was like it was backwards, and I got really scared. But then I think, um, got back and it just landed it. Yeah, there were a lot of people that couldn't recover. That was an incredible recovery. Are you having a good time out here? Yes. Yes. Would you come back if they do another one? Yes. Gordon, we appreciate your time. Go out there and put that jet in the air and show these old geezers how to fly. Rob Lynch, he's from House of Power. They've come all the way up from Miami, and uh, Rob's brought this beautiful Bob Violet jet up here. Tell us a little bit about House of Power and the jet you're flying. Well, House of Power Hobbies is a uh, relatively new company. We've been open a year and a half now or thereabouts. And, uh, you know, we just uh, wanted to, to uh, start a shop, another shop, and, uh, you know, enjoy ourselves and have fun. You know, I mean, that's what the hobby's all about, so... I've noticed that you put a lot of miles on that jet of yours today. Tell us a little bit about that jet, that most impressive jet you fly. Well, thank you. It's it's a it's a BBM Electra. It's a uh, 12S system. Uh, that is the number two airplane out of the mold. Um, it's pushing right about five years old now and has just a touch over 3,000 flights on it now. How fast does that thing go? Uh, yesterday, top GPS speed was 229. That is impressive, and you fly it so well. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a fun airplane and, um, you know, just really enjoy being up here with you guys. What do you think about this Triple Creek facility? Oh, man, this is really nice. I mean, I've been to a lot of places, but this is really nice. It's nice. It's laid back. Nobody's pressuring you. And, um, you know, you just go fly at will and enjoy yourself, which is, once again, what it's all about. Beautiful. And once again, tell us where you, who you're with so we can get another plug for the House of Power. Uh, we're with House of Power Hobbies, and we're uh, based out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 
You guys do mail order? Yes, we do. We do do mail order. Uh, we do have our website up, which is actually currently under development again. Um, but uh, if you uh, give us a phone call, uh, we have pretty much uh, everything you guys need. Rob, we appreciate your time. Go put that beautiful jet in the air. Thank you. I'm going to. going to walk over here and talk to Roger Jones and his beautiful tiger moth. Roger, we've been watching you fly this plane and this thing is just a joy to see in the air. Tell us a little bit about yourself in this airplane. It's awesome. I'm awesome. <laughs> I love this tiger moth. It floats like an angel. Now, it's taken quite a while to get to this point, let me tell you. From flying a big stick, getting used to big airplanes, to this 105 inch tiger moth. This is a beauty and it is a pleasure to talk and I love it. How long did it take you to put this thing together? One month. Got it for my birthday last April and uh, had uh, King Larry help me out uh, with the cabling and uh, we got it together and he uh, set up the trims and we test flew it uh, probably about a month and a half ago. And uh, between Larry and I, we put probably a dozen flights on this bird. And he finally, finally turned me loose, and now I can fly the Tigger all by myself. The Tigger, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got Tigger in it. Got Tigger in it. Yeah. It's a beautiful plane, Roger. Where did, you, where did this plane come from? Maxford, USA, out of California. So this is a Maxford plane. Now, I noticed you got a camera on it. You've been doing quite a bit of these aerial videos, haven't you? Yes, I have. They're posted on YouTube. When they don't knock me off. Tell us about that camera. That's a Hobby King HD, full HD. They, they have three for sale. They go, I uh, think, uh, 15 bucks, and then they go 25 bucks. This one here is 100. Uh, it's got an HDMI plug. It's got a computer, uh, small uh, USB plug. And the only thing it doesn't have is a, a SD chip, which you can buy. Start off with a, it's got an 18 gig in it right now. So it'll, it'll HD film for about an hour and 20 minutes. That's quite a bit of film. Now, where would we see those videos if we wanted to see them? On YouTube. I would have to email you the link. Okay, there's no, no URL that you can give us? No, YouTube. Is there any links from the Triple Creek website? Uh, they haven't. They, I think they've picked up one or two through Larry, but I'm not sure. Beautiful. Roger, thank you so much for your hey, time. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it.